my hair is shiny it is bouncy it's soft and this is a custom color girl Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about my experience getting my 4C natural hair custom colored at the salon for the very first time. just came out from the salon and went to go see Kyra Allen. She just laid this color out. In my last My Iron video, I told you guys that I was really wanting to do color on my hair, so I finally decided, okay, it's summertime, just do it now because you're never gonna do it if you don't. I booked Style Menu 2, and I also got the single process color plus the full highlights. This brown that you see, that is the single process color. So she put that all over my roots and in the back. In the front, she laid the highlights. So it's a mix of a copper color and gold. I absolutely love it. She started off by just talking to me about what color I wanted to have. So I showed her some pictures also showed her a picture of what I absolutely did not want. After she had an idea of what I wanted and what I didn't want, she went in and then sectioned my hair. So she had the back where the dark brown is, and then she did um, about three quadrants in the front, and then went in and just laid the color. She laid the dark brown first, she laid all my roots, she went back and then she laid the copper and then she put some highlights with the gold and wrapped everything up in foil and then sat me under the heated dryer for an hour so that the color could process. She rinsed it out and then gave me a mirror to look at it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so bright. I was like, what did you do? It's too bright. And she was like, no, trust me, it's going to work out. And I will say, when your hair is wet, the color looks so much more vibrant and it just looks a lot brighter than it actually is. Don't judge it until it's dry. Also, as the color ages, it gets even darker. I was talking to my sister and she was like, you should have like actual blonde, blonde highlights instead of this gold. Maybe next time I'll go in and like, couple of months right before Thanksgiving, I'll put in some blonde highlights in the front because this is like, now that I'm thinking about it, it's not that light, but it's light enough for me right now. The whole process did take about five hours. Shampoo, conditioned, put some conditioner on my hair and told me that I couldn't sit under the steamer, put a plastic cap over me, and then sat me under the hot dryer again for another half an hour. Rinsed it out, and then she just went in and blew it out and flat ironed it. At first, I kind of like waited because I didn't know of anybody who I would trust to do my hair. And then once Kyra got to beautiful, I was like, I'm gonna do it, but it's like $300. Paid $85 for style menu two, plus $175 for the full highlights and the single process color, plus tip. I do also believe that Kyra is like an artist. Like she is really, really, really good at what she does. She listens, she visualizes, she has her own ideas, has her own spin. For somebody who can actually like do color, do hair, and then do it consistently, it's worth every penny. If you're in the Chicago area, definitely I highly recommend that you go see Kyra. Her Instagram page is Kyra Colors Hair. It's not my Instagram, this is my second time going to see her. She's the only person in Chicago that will ever do my hair. She's on time. She's gentle. She knows what she's doing. She explains everything. She also recommended that I pick up these two products, which I did go and buy. These are the Wella Professional Great and Paraben Free Shampoo. And this is the conditioner for specifically for color treated hair. She recommended that I pick up the um, color specific shampoo as well but it has sulfates and I'm not about that life. I'm going to use these two to wash and condition my hair. I'll let you guys know if I like it or not but I just figured this is my first time coloring it for real for real. In terms of maintenance I'll just wrap it at night and then when it gets to a point where I can't wrap it anymore I'll just put some flexi rods in it and then that'll be it. Let me know your first color experience. How did that go and would you consider coloring again? Alright thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.